Now, a great example of a disruptive innovation is the personal computer. I remember when I got out of grad school, if I needed to compute, I had to take a stack of punched cards to the corporate mainframe center and give it to a PhD who ran the job for us. The computer cost several million dollars. And because of its expense and its complexity and the inconvenience, we really just didn't compute very much. But the personal computer made it so affordable and simple that even a poor fool like Clay Christensen could own a computer and use it. At the beginning, all we could do is the simplest of problems. We could type, do spreadsheet analysis on our PCs, but we still had to take the complicated problems back to the mainframe center and give it to the expert who did the work. But out in this new plane of competition, as the PC got better and better and better, one by one, we could do in the affordable, simple plane of competition problems that in the past had to be done on the mainframe, and it drew the applications one by one out of the back into the front until ultimately every supplier of mainframe and mini computers vaporized. 